सकता हूं प्रस्ताव प्रस्तुत किया गया अब मैं उन सदस्यों के नाम पुकारूंगा कि जो इस चर्चा में भाग लेंगे जिनके नाम उनकी पार्टियों द्वारा भेजे गए हैं श्री सुजीत कुमार जी धन्यवाद उपाध्यक्ष महोदय सर उपसभापति महोदय उपसभापति सर दी एडवोकेट अमेंडमेंट बिल 2023 Seeks to repeal the Legal Practitioners Act of 1879 by incorporating Section 36 of the Legal Practitioners Act 1879 <coughs> as Section 45A in the Advocate Acts of 1961. Sir, this is part of the process to repeal old, obsolete, and outdated laws by this government, which is highly, highly commendable. In fact, yesterday, sir, this August House passed the Jan Vishwas Bill. Which amended 183 provisions across 42 acts of 19 uh, ministries, and uh, unanimously it was passed by this August House, sir. Sir, as was discussed while passing of the previous bill, there are many bills, many legislations, sir, many acts, many legislations in our statute book, which are outdated and and are of the colonial British era. so this bill legal practitioners act 1879 which is to be repealed by this amendment bill was start, was was uh, enacted in 1879 to regulate and govern the legal professional of those age but over the decade sir the legal practice the legal profession the requirement of lawyers has changed multifold sir after india became independent in 1947 we developed our own legal profession and sir in 18 in 1961 we enacted the advocates act to align with the changing time and to make uh, our legal framework inclusive dynamic relevant and in need with independent india's requirement sir even the law commission of india in its report number 249 titled obsolete laws warranting immediate repeal has recommended for repealing of the legal practitioners act of 1879 after making suitable amendment amendments to the advocates act of 1961 so sir after the repeal of this act we'll have one comprehensive framework that is the advocates act of 1961 which will regulate and govern the practice of law in this country sir i will take this opportunity to uh, suggest a couple of reforms to the government and i'll urge the government to to uh, have a serious uh, view of this sir first and foremost in the advocates act of 1961 there is no provision for mandatory continuous professional development of the lawyers so i think sir there should be a mandatory continuous professional development provision in the advocates act of 1961 sir why is this important it's important because sir technology has become so pervasive in every sector of life in every walk of life and also in the legal profession sir this week this house this august house passed the mediation bill sir there are many emerging frontiers of law telecom law intellectual property law technology law arbitration act is there now online dispute resolution odr has become a practice so our lawyers need to be up to date with the latest legal developments and the latest developments in the field of technology particularly that uh, affects the legal profession so this is why sir i suggest that there should be mandatory continuous professional development and it should be incorporated in the advocates act of 1961 sir secondly there should be a national electronic register for advocate for advocates we don't have any such register today sir sir the law commission of india in its 184th report had suggested this and i quote there should be a national electronic register of the advocates enrolled by the state bar councils where each member must provide a self declaration in every 3 years unquote so i think sir there should be a single database which will have details about all the advocates practicing in this country it will also be good so that uh, uh, social welfare schemes can be can be brought in for the advocates thirdly sir there should be a digital interface to uh, between the advocates and the clients so that will eliminate the need for section 45a itself why do we need a tout in today's day and age when we can have an electronic platform that will connect that can connect advocates and clients i don't think there is need for an intermediary which is uh, section 36 of the 
Act to be repealed and to be incorporated as Section 55 in the Advocates Act. I think, sir, that also may not be needed if we have a digital interface. And finally, sir, I think there is need for an Advocate Protection Act. Sir, you come from the state of Rajasthan, and your state, sir, has passed the bill to ensure the safety uh, of the advocates practicing in the state of Rajasthan through the Advocates Protection Act. Sir, of late, we have seen many instances of advocates being attacked, being harassed, being intimidated, particularly in the courts in Delhi. I think, sir, in this context, it's very much essential that we need an Advocates Protection Act because we want our advocates to practice fearlessly because advocates are the officers of the court. And, sir, if you ask me, as a lawyer, I'll tell you that advocates are the most important stakeholders in the administration of justice. They are the most important stakeholder that upholds the rule of law and makes justice available to the common citizens of this country. So, sir, I support this bill, and I hope that the government will look into these suggestions. Thank you. Thank you.